Good morning, brothers and sisters. I wanted to come and share this morning. And first, let's start off in prayer. I'd love to pray the Lord's Prayer with y'all. And it goes like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. I know that my heart right now is that I know that we are in the final hour, final minutes. Um, if you really listen to that video that I put out yesterday, um, he even talks about North Korean being in Cuba, um, waiting to be, waiting to make an announcement somewhere. You need to go back and you really need to listen to what this guy is telling you because he's giving us information that is fitting all the pieces together that says loudly, the king is coming. Everything is lining up to prophecy. Daniel 11, the Northwest West Treaty um, that they announced a long time ago, um, is in motion, it's in play. And I'm going to put a link to the video underneath that talks about today where, well, they have arrived in um, Southern California. That was the first band and they're over the fence in, in the US. But he's got some pretty interesting things to say in there as well that you should know. If you want to know, you're willing to go look. If you're not, don't. I just want to get. I want to make sure that we're all off the G, off the Trump train, because Trump isn't going to make America great again. King Jesus is. And get on the Jesus train because it's about ready to depart. And we're watching, and watching us should keep us on our toes, um, being alert, be ready. Be watching around you, and of course, keep looking up. The signs are in the sun and the moon and the stars, and they've done a beautiful dance for us, and now we're starting to see things. Daniel 11 speaks of that Northwest Treaty. Um, the fires, uh, direct energy weapons, 5G is going to start it all off. They, they've already got advanced stuff that, They've got, they, they're now exposing it to us. Because the Bible tells us that the enemy does have to reveal his plans to us before they can do it. And it's for us to pray. And it's for us to be ready. And to keep us on our toes, so to speak, like little ballerinas. <laughs> um, looking up for Jesus at any moment. So I wanted to share that every word that that reporter said was backed up, proven, and verified. And what he's saying is truth and not lies. And not to fear because anybody that's in Jesus has no fear. We're in Psalms 91. We're under his wing. This is all Bible prophecy. And it's all coming to pass. What exciting times we're living in be a little freaky sometimes, I know, right? <laughs> but it's exciting because we're seeing, I mean, I, I just sit there and go, oh, Lord, you're, you're so awesome and what you're doing. And he's merciful and he loves every single one of us. Not one that he wants lost. And I do believe that our Lord is doing that right now, um, but you got to remember, the enemy is roaming like a lion, seeking whom he can devour, 
We need to stay in one accord. We need to line, make sure things line up with the scriptures. Everything was scriptural based yesterday, okay? Not fun to see. Uh, Trump, President Trump boldly doing um, that in the USA. <laughs> when last year, he did it in India. And everybody said it was all photoshopped. And of course, he wouldn't participate in that, right? Wow. First commandment was, you know, back then, back in the day of Moses was, thou shalt not have any, any other gods before me. None. Um, who's your God? Who's your daddy? My God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I pray that yours is all. Two. Yours is all. Yeah, that was a good word, Deb. Okay. So, without further ado, I wanted to um, share this commercial because it's been in our faces for a while. <laughs> Didn't not know all its capabilities. Also, they're going to be using this 5G technology that they're not saying right now other than in messages that you need to pick up in tune with the Holy Spirit that they're going to be using this technology against those that are coming across the border and anybody that is out of line with the government. So the restrainer has to be removed before all heck breaks loose here, right? Brothers and sisters, this should encourage you and not cause any fear that the king is on his way and God sees everything that's happening right now. So I wanted to just share um, a five minute little video clip here of a couple of commercials uh, that he had, that he had found. Um, there's a lot of sublineal things out there. Golly gee, um, shows from the 80s and the 70s and AI robots and what is Google? A great, right? That was like a message. Who was listening then, right? <laughs> and now we go, oh my gosh. They were saying it then. So please listen while I share this part, okay? Today is October 29, 2018. I am going to play two commercials in this video. The first one I am going to play, I put in a video about three years ago. That video went viral, but about a year ago, the video was blocked worldwide. The video was blocked because I used a clip from a documentary and there was a complaint from the filmmaker. And because I want this commercial played on my channel, I am using this video as an excuse to re-upload it so everyone can see it. 200 years ago, I wrote a review on Apartments.com and won free rent for life. Uh, little did they know medical advancements would double the human lifespan. Now, everyone lives in apartments, everyone lives in apartments, everyone lives in apartments, and there is no war. No war! Listen to this wise man from the future. Review your apartment on Apartments.com and you too could be a winner. So he said it, not me. He said... Now everyone lives in apartments. That's why everywhere you go, they are building these monstrosities and calling them the colony. In some cases, we even see them being built only a few feet from a neighborhood. They are doing this because they are trying to chase out the people of this neighborhood. Once these houses are abandoned and no one wants to buy them, the city can then rezone the area, knock the houses down, and put up more apartments. And just a block east or west of Sierra is where someone's going to come in, tear down five or six old single-family homes, and put a nice something in there, a townhome community or something that, that we allow them to build. And then those people, like you say, they live here, they walk to the downtown. 
Don't say I haven't been warning you for the last few years. They're coming for your homes. And if you have the good fortune of being forced into one of these apartments, as opposed to living on the street, then you will have the Amazon telescreen known as Alexa watching over you. Amazon's Alexa will be built into all new homes from Lennar. And Lennar is mainly building apartments these days. Let's call this what it is. Alexa is an artificially intelligent robot that listens to every word you say around it. Now, the reason why I am making this video is because of the second commercial I am going to play. Just a couple of days ago, I put up a video discussing how I spotted 5G poles in Los Angeles. And in the comments of that video, several people asked me what 5G is and why it's a big deal. Here is the answer to those questions. 5G is the fifth generation of the cellular network. It is being forced on us because our government, as well as the telecoms, think we need what is shown in the next commercial. 5G is going to power artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is going to control the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is Orwell's 1984 on steroids. It is every appliance in your home becoming a robot and being artificial intelligent. That includes your refrigerator, the trash can, and even the ice maker. And those things I just listed aren't some conspiracy theory. They're in this commercial. Listen very carefully to what is said. Computer order pizza. Of course, Daniel. Fridge weather. Clear skies at 75. Trash can turn on the TV. My pleasure. Ice dispenser. Find me a dog sitter. Okay. I'll make ice. Pizza delivery. What's happened to my son? I think that's just what people are like now. I mean, with Progressive, you can quote your insurance on just about any device, even on social media. We'll be fine. Really? I don't know. This is very important to understand. If the appliances in your home are able to take your direction that easily, that means they are listening to every word that comes out of your mouth. I don't know about you, but that's not how I want to live. And you can say no to this by not buying into this stuff. Keep your old appliances. Your neighbors are going to be giving them away at garage sales. I predict that someday there is going to be a black market for all the non-smart appliances. Also, this is why they want you in the apartments, because the apartments are going to have all this stuff built in, and at that point, you aren't going to have a choice. That's why we need to fight the Agenda 21 tyranny that is coming down from our city councils. And please, warn everyone you can about this. Share this video. And if you know someone who can't wait for this stuff to come out, then you're probably wasting your time. But those who are on the fence can be brought into our camp. If you don't buy it, then they can't sell it. <laughs> okay. So we know about 5G technology. We know about the towers. We know that it's far too late to go back. Um and get rid of everything that we have because then that would take us away from the time that we have left to bring people to Jesus, to bring them to the Lord, to, to plant seeds, to, to help them, um, help those that are, are in Jesus and are still on the fence to, to get on the right side of the fence. Um, so this was an information channel, of course, that he does imply some biblical tones in the next one. And he does talk about the IFD um, I chip and the whole thing that's coming. I don't know if he believes in pre-trib. But I think he's getting the information out um, without him having to imply religion in it at all. Although he does say uh, there seems to be some religious undertones in here. Take it as he's saying, hey, <laughs> it's biblical. And it is, brothers and sisters. It's all biblical. Um, the first wave has come across. 
in Tijuana, I think. Um, so I'll leave that video underneath. But 5G, we all know about. I pointed out towers. Hey, I know we can't even get some people to understand the chemtrails yet, but just keep letting them look up, play things in the sky. I love playing the cloud game where you, oh gee, that cloud looks just like a heart. And, you know, then I start getting people to look up. And oh my goodness, look at that. What could that be? Sometimes I'm blessed with an actual object to be able to show <laughs> and talk about. The Lord will make a way. The Lord will open a door um, for you if that's where your heart is. And if you're led to share with that person, do it. Don't shrink back and think that they won't listen. Because you don't know what the Holy Spirit's doing. If you're prompted to share with someone, just do it. Even if they blow you off, you planted a seed, and it's something that they'll think about. Because Jesus is coming, y'all. Time is short. We are in the... The hour is very late. And there's no time to waste. So this is Debbie from Texas saying, Peace out, Maranatha. And, oh, let me add, no coincidence that I've been led to all these tiny home things. <laughs> How great they look, right? Um, totally all 5G. In there, everything from the LED lights to everything is 5G. Uh, nope, they look good, they make them enticing and they make it look good. But those that have an ear to hear, hear what the Spirit is saying read your Bible, read your word, trust in Jesus, He's your only hope and our only way out. Luke 21 36. Praying that we are worthy to escape all these things that are to come. We are not called to wrath. Only Jesus can cleanse us of all of our sins. Clean our heart. Make it right. When you're born again of the Spirit, you become a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. You don't, you stand for good. You don't stand for evil. But we stand for good and love. That just means we don't be partakers of the evil that we know. Um, we can't stand there and blast people um, that are drinking or, or whatever um, they're doing. Evil. We need to love them. As Jesus loved me and pulled me in. Um, I think if he stood there and blasted me, uh, I don't know if I would have answered the call back in 1979. But he does chastise those who love that he loves. And he will bring you to a point where you need to look up to him and, and pray that if there is a God, help. And he will answer. Jeremiah 33, 3. So, hey, brothers and sisters, keep looking up. This is Debbie from Texas saying, Peace out, Maranatha. The king is coming.